my loves, and welcome. This is Patrizia 1111. Take a deep breath in. And release. my higher self holy spirit of course and uh, our beloved divine uh, universe our beloved mother gaia my angels archangels spirit guides the archangels of course my fairies and last but not least my ancestors to protect Let's start clearing your energy and your home. Embrace if you want this. Take a deep breath in and release. For those of you that want a healing, take a deep breath in. breakthrough in your life and for of course the world take a deep breath in and release to raise the frequency of the collective set intentions as many as you want I'm going to put peace, protection, love, kindness, compassion, health, abundance, blessings, unity. As your intention I am the I am is very important fill in the words I am supported I am successful I am in love I intend to experience more of love within me than I am now, if it's about love. I intend to experience more of the joy within me than I am now. I intend to experience more of being in balance that is within me than I am now. I intend to experience more of the light within me than I am now. I intend to experience more of fun within me than I am now. I intend to experience more of the truth within me that I am now. I guarantee you, if you say these intentions every day for a month, watch your life manifest into all your dreams and desires. and welcome to your weekly reading this is from april 25th to may 1st of 2022 so let's see this is last but not least let's see who's the sign and we have leo okay so joy number five there's changes coming in it's a time for celebration and success that's coming in here uh so if you're uh, you know of course uh, sun and leo and if you have anything if, if you have a leo in your chart uh, this is your reading, okay? Anywhere that you have Leo in your chart, this is your reading. Uh, if the reading resonates, claim it. And if it doesn't, then look at your rising, which is your ascendant sign. You can look at your moon. Venus is about love and finances. And you can look at your north node. In the reading, um, I do want to say is that um, 
you know, feel free to swap the energies around if you feel I'm not talking about you. Uh, take what's yours in the reading and re let the rest go. Uh, it's important that not to force the reading if it's not for you, okay? Just understand and trust your intuition and you'll know. Um, also, cuspers and um, cross watchers are welcome to the reading. So now I will do you a tarot reading and I will clarify the cards. And after that, I will give you additional messages of numerology. I will give you your uh, numerology cards. I will give you angel cards. And last but not least, I will read you a passage from another sacred oracle cards that I have. And at the same time, I will give you your animal totem of the week and which crystal to use. Okay? So let's look at what's going on here for you. Yeah. Cards are... Okay. Okay, let's see what's going on for you, Leo. Your last but not least. There's not there's never there's no endings. Always beginnings. Okay, let's see what's going on for you, Leo. In the overall, you got the two of pentacles reversed. In the situation here, let's see the situation at hand. You got the nine of swords. What is crossing you at this time? And what is the challenge here? The seven of wands reversed. The, let's look at the root of the situation. The two of wands. Let's look at the recent past till now. Page of Swords. You got the two of swords. chariot let's look at how you're feeling at this time as well seven of cups reversed let's look at what is hidden from you the knight of swords hopes and fears Eight of Swords reversed. And let's look at the possible outcome, Leo. The Queen of Wands. Beautiful. A lot of you at this time, there is, I am feeling it in the energy as soon as I see the, I seen the cards is that there's a loss here. Some of you are, there could be a heartbreak or a separation. There could be a sadness in a situation with the Two of Pentacles reversed here in, um, um in the overall it's there's some type of imbalance maybe you're feeling unbalanced or something got dropped or someone got dropped in this situation you got the nine of swords so of course there's a lot of uh you know fear anxiety you're feeling negative uh you're not able to sleep at night maybe you uh, some of you are having nightmares but there is a breakthrough that's coming in here for you there's definitely a breakthrough okay breaking uh uh it's like a breaking point that's taking place here okay uh, what's crossing you and uh, what is the challenge is the challenges that you are going through. And you're feeling overwhelmed by these challenges and uh, you're not feeling zen or you're not feeling protected with these energies around you. In the root here, I do see you making plans, your future planning, you're making decisions. You know, you're, you have, there's progress here, but uh, you're, you're determined to move forward, but uh, there's still something holding you back. In the recent past till now with the Page of Swords, there was some type of online communication. Maybe you've been watching someone online or someone's been watching you online. Uh, you know, this is someone that was very, uh, you know, uh, there was, a, I feel there was like someone that was very chatty. They were very curious, very, a lot of communication here. Um, you know, uh, new ideas, new percept, like new ideas are taking place and a lot of like aha uh -huh moments and uh, like a lot of things are, you're, there's a lot of information here and how, like, for some of you, if this has to do with work, it's just a lot of uh, brilliant new ideas that are coming in. 
with the two of swords energy here i feel like uh, a lot of you this uh, you know you're in denial maybe in a situation maybe you're waiting for something uh, you're feeling stuck uh, again there's something that's been stale in a situation in your life and you do have to make the difficult choices here um you got number 22 here uh in the immediate future you got the chariot so i do see june july as a, an important month for you okay could also be now in the current energy you're going to take your power back here uh this is a good card it's a very positive card so it's about triumph and it's about finding direction and having control okay in a situation and facing your obstacles and being aligned here um uh, and how you're feeling with the seven of cups reverse is that there's confusion at this time for you so you're confused okay and what is in from you is a knight of swords there could be an unexpected communication that's coming in here for you and with the eight of swords reversed here in the hopes and fears um it just talks about like there's freedom okay you faced your you faced your fears and there's a release here and um i with the queen of wands whether you're male or female it doesn't matter okay it's just about your you uh, being determined and being confident about yourself and passionate here there's something magical that's taking place here so we're going to clarify the cards for you and see what's going on let's look at the two of pentacles reversed You did get two, two, two on the ground. You got the nine of wands, the four of wands, the hangman. You've been sacrificing, you've been waiting. I feel there's been a lot of waiting here, okay? So there's been waiting, being observant here in a situation. Uh, what you do want is that security, okay? Of, uh, you know, maybe it's a security that you want of, uh, you know, uh, you know uh, sorry <laughs> happiness security you know uh, having celebration in the home joy in the home i i feel like number 11 11 is strong here um i feel like here there's something here that you've been waiting for maybe uh, some type of proposal okay or some type of this like energy of security and happiness here and with the nine of wands here there's a lot like a lot of you are cautious at this time and you're you're setting a lot of boundaries around you uh, you do have a lot of courage and persistence to move forward in a situation because um, I do see that there's imbalance here and there's been sacrificing and there's been like um, just an energy like I feel like you're blocking yourself. There's like there's a blocking, you know, or someone's blocking you for, for you to achieve this the four of wands energy. OK, but uh, definitely uh, there could be security and happiness here if you do want it, uh, Leo. Now let's look at the nine of uh, swords. You do also have number you do have a seven seven but the cherry card is also a seventh so it's seven 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 two 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 if you add them together they're nines so they could be completions here for you so let's look at the nine of swords you got temperance judgment the six of cups yeah definitely here uh you know there's a this this is about connections of your past it could be a child or children involved here uh, connections of your past feeling nostalgic uh, you know, there's, uh, you know, could be about romance or, and there's healing that's taking place because you did also get the temperance, you know, this is about having patience. It's about balancing. It's about choosing caref carefully. It's about moderation that's taking place. Uh, again, uh, there's patience is needed in the situation here, but you are at this time going through, uh, some type of awakening and rebirth. Okay. There's a higher calling for you in a situation, but again, there's a breaking point here. Remember to remain patient, okay, on your journey. Some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or you have Sagittarius in your chart. Let's look at the seven of wands reverse because you are feeling overwhelmed here with the challenges and you're feeling like interference and obstacles are not, like you're not feeling in, like you're not feeling zen, you know, at this time. Let's look at this with the seven of wands reversed. You got the two of pentacles, the ace of swords, the nine of cups. There's definitely a wish fulfillment that you do want here, okay? Again, you get, see, you got the Two of Pentacles. So I feel like with the Two of Pentacles, you are balancing, you're juggling. There could be financial decisions. You could be pulled into different ways. There is a wish fulfillment. And the Ace of Swords comes out, comes out after the Nine of Swords. That's good. 
So there will be a breakthrough here, okay? Um, there's going to be clarity. You're going to know the truth about something. Uh, and they're asking you to stay focused and uh, keep your vision, okay? Maybe you're going to have visions about it. But definitely here, uh, I do see that uh, with the Ace of Swords energy, there is clarity coming in for you. And maybe your clarity will not come in right away. For some of you, will. For others of you, it could uh, it could happen uh you know, in November or December of 2022, but we'll see if I could get any other dates here for you. Now let's look at the two of wands in the root. You got the queen of pentacles, the seven of wands and the queen of swords. So here it shows me that uh, something is shifting because the seven of wands is upright. So you are going to be uh, facing your challenges, okay? And overcoming them. Um, now, this could be you and energy. doesn't matter if you're female or male, okay? Um, you're going to be overcoming these challenges. There will be completions here. And I do see here that maybe, well, for some of you here, you're going to be uh, very independent, uh, fair, and objective and honest in situations. I also see with the Queen of Pentacles, someone that is a good business person that's nurturing, generous, and caring. Now, this could be someone that's coming in or this is how you are okay, in, in energy, all right, and it's about overcoming, it's about overcoming whatever uh, these challenges were, all right, so now let's look at the page of swords in the recent past till now, you got the ten of pentacles, the two of cups, the king of swords, yeah, there's definitely something here for you, uh, there could be a new line communication, it could be a uh, could be work, could be, uh, you know, collaboration, could be love, could be romance. There's a meeting here that could bring you this Ten of Pentacles. This Ten of Pentacles uh, definitely is uh, like uh, the full of life. Again, it's about, uh, you know, success, financial success, stability. Uh, maybe it's an idea that you have that will bring you the stability. Uh, and with the King of Swords, I feel like, you know, this is you and energy or someone that you're dealing with. Uh, this is someone that has a very a lot of experience. They're very sharp. They they have a lot of integrity. They're disciplined, and they also always remain objective. Okay, uh, in, in any situation, and they stick to the facts. And so they're very observant in energy. But definitely with the Ten of Pentacles, there is something coming in here for you. There could be a new line, a new communication coming in to bring you this Ten of Pentacles. Now let's look at the Two of Swords because again here you have to make difficult choices. Um, or maybe you're waiting for something here. Let's see what this is all about. The Magician, the Seven of Swords, the King of Cups. Yeah, there's definitely here, uh, there's an energy around you here uh, that uh, there could be lies in, a, in, a, in this situation. Uh, someone that's dishonest and uh, not someone that is, of course, dishonest and, um, you know, uh, trickery like you know very trickery and energy sneakiness uh, and energy um someone trying to get away with something again here there's difficult choices um now i'm going to take an extra card for the seven of swords okay so give me an extra card for the seven of swords please with the two of swords again completions here are taking place but give me the seven of swords and the two of swords let's see yeah, you see the Two of Swords again. Yeah. Okay. So what's taking place here is that, uh, you know, whatever the situation here, okay, is someone here is heartbroken, okay? There could be a, a separation, like I said, or loss or grief or some type of trauma here. And there is decisions. And I do feel that uh, could be on, uh, uh, you know, that someone here is trying to get away with something or someone is really keeping quiet about what they're going through okay with the three of swords but what also is coming up is that uh they're saying here okay look you got these cards that came out okay extra cards is that there is some type of new line communication coming in someone that's been watching on in, on, in, on internet or vice versa here um and then someone here that's been manifesting okay uh, manifesting they have all the tools here maybe developing new skills some type of uh, communication is going to come in and so you're going to be dealing with a like, king of cups energy or this is you okay this is someone that has uh, they have balance between their 
their heart and their head. They're emotionally mature and they value family. If it's about business, they're very wise, they're logical and practical, and there is a fresh start that's going to take place for you or a beginning of a new journey. If you do want it, it's here. Okay, and I do see some of you going for it, okay, because you got the chariot, so you're moving on. So this is also a travel card as well, moving on and travel card, right? So let's look at the chariot. Seven of Cups, Ten of Wands, Five of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, you're overcoming this, you know. Uh, there's been a lot of choices here. You've maybe been daydreaming, fantasizing. There's been obstacle over obstacle, burden, stress, burnout. You know, some of you are really tired. Some of you feel abandoned, left out, ghosted, and it's been too long. And, uh, you know, it could be also poverty consciousness that you're getting. But I do see that uh, in the immediate future, this could be like as soon as now or in June or July of 2022, that you're going to take control and move forward here. Okay, so definitely you're moving control. Uh, you're moving control. You're moving ahead. Okay, moving on from this type of energy here and you're taking control. So you, there is the good news of triumph and finding direction and control here. Let's look at the Seven of Cups reversed. The Page of Cups, the Lovers, Five of Wands. There's been like confusion, a lot of maybe conflict in this situation or around you, uh, Leo. There could have been disagreements and tension. Um, you know, it could have been a child involved or someone here coming in that has, is very sensitive. You're dealing with someone that's sensitive here. And with the lover's energy, this could be romance, partnership, and there will have to be choices that you will have to make. Now, let's look at uh, what is hidden from you. You got the Knight of Swords. So there is a message coming in here for you. Very quick messages coming in. So let's look at that together. You got the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Cups. And the, eight, and the Six of Pentacles. Something is definitely coming into balance here for you. Um, you know, uh, yeah. You know, this Four of Wands energy. Um, you know, you want this Four of Wands. You want uh, the celebration, this proposal, whatever it is, this uh, happiness, this celebration, this uh, security. Uh, the message that's coming in is going to bring you, um, you know, it could be like, this is abundance. I see this as an abundance card, but this is about, you know, um, new, this could be about new love. It's about forgiveness, compassion, okay? And the Ten of Cups energy, again, it's about family, harmony, love and support. This could be a soulmate energy coming in here for you. And things are going to be in balance. So it's whatever you give, you're going to be receiving here with the Ace of Cups. So definitely, there's a new beginning here that's taking place here for you. Let's look at the Ace of Swords reverse because I do see you here with the Eight, eight of Swords reverse that there is freedom and you're going to be releasing and facing your fears You got the Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter here, the High Priestess, the Nine of Pentacles. You are working on yourself or, or you've been working very hard here. You're very independent. Uh, definitely here, Jupiter is here to give you a second chance here. There's karma, right? Karma, luck, and change is coming towards you. The wheel is turning in your favor. Something faded is coming in and you need to trust your intuition and your gut feeling about this, okay? But definitely Jupiter is coming in here to help you. Nine of Pentacles also talks about um, financial security and abundance that's coming in. Now let's look at this Queen of Wands. You got the Three of Wands. Your manifest, your manifestations are here. Okay, um, definitely here. There could be travel for you. Again, travel. Yeah, definitely here. Uh, you know, you're taking control. It's about some type of commitment, work or love, whatever this is. Setting up new rules, new boundaries. It's also about stability, protection, uh, being disciplined. Uh, there's a lot of like uh, confidence and determination here. Manifestations are here. It, this is about success, travel. Again, two travel cards you got here. Okay, moving, leaving something behind. Definitely, you're going through a transition here. Uh, some of you could be overseas opportunities, but definitely your ships are coming in. They're, like I said, you're going through a transition to a better place, and there there's going to be relocation or moving for you. Okay. And let's look underneath the deck. You got the Nine of Swords again. Again, there is going to be some type of uh, breakthrough, a breaking point in the situation here. I do see someone taking action. Um, but there could also be a rejection on your part. You're getting the tower moment. There will be maybe a disruption at this time or some type of unexpected change that's going to come in. 
but definitely here at this time a lot of you are uh, there's there's some type of ending that you're going through here uh it could be an ending uh it could be a betrayal or uh, uh some type of dead end in a situation a lot of you are going to be going inward and following your own path okay we're drawing from people uh, but what do I see here is that there will that is this unexpected message that's going to come in will bring you success, will bring you victory and reward. And uh, with the Ace of Wands, there's new passion and new energy that's taking place here where you're going to feel inspired. So I hope that you enjoyed your reading, uh, Leo. And now let's look at, uh, let's take some additional messages here from uh, your monology to see what else uh, they want to add. To be bold and make the first move, Cardinal Moon. Believe in the impossible in the blue moon. And balance spirituality and practicality, which is the full moon in Pisces. Now we're going to look at, of course, uh, the angel numbers at this time. Let's look at your angel numbers here. You got, oops, number 18 first, I am kind-hearted. Uh, you are both open-minded and open -minded and open-hearted, and your ambition is to leave this world better than you found it. Ensure that your goals are aligned with the collective need and with the highest good of all. The 18 becomes a nine, right? Completions. You got also number zero, I am limitless. There is no beginning and no end. All is infinite. It is time. It is a time to develop your spiritual sight. You are gaining new sight and understanding of both godly and earthly things. Then you got number seven. I am brilliant. You possess a very refined mind and a, and a deep urge to uncover life's mysteries. Your ability to acquire vast uh, knowledge on both the informational and spiritual planes gives you a greater awareness than most. Then you got number 26, I am tactful. You have a desire to succeed and will feel most accomplished when your work benefits others. Your intuitive awareness of what people want allows you to come up with innovative solutions to meet their needs. And last but not least, you got 888, I am abundant. As you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and creating a place for abundance. Okay, now we're going to take out uh, angel answers. So if there's anything that you want to ask the angels, to, to you could ask. If not, uh, for those of you who want to see without asking, that's fine. It's up to you. But if you do want to ask, now is the time as I'm shuffling the cards. Okay, let's see. Oh, boy. Look at that. I mean, <laughs> I went next to Sandy. Okay. Somebody's like, what's going on? I'm sorry. Okay. I need to take the card that's there. First card out, it says improving health. So your health will be improving at this time. Uh, it also says your romance. And yes. Okay. Now, last but not least, we're going to take out my sacred cards. Well, I'll read you a passage. I will give you your animal totem and your crystal. This is for Leo, April 25th to May 1st. Sacred sexuality. Okay, let's look at... Uh, The fire energy number 66. Okay, let's look at number 66. What is it?
Okay, so sacred sexuality. Our sexual self and sexual energy is such a layered and potent part of who we are. It can show us our wounds, it can provide healing, it can help us manifest, it can teach us boundaries, and can fuel and empower us. Sacred sexuality does not mean that your sexual presence or expression needs to look a certain way. It simply means that your sexuality is sacred as it is. It is a core part of your humanity as well as your spiritual and universal self. This card asks you to examine your relationship to your sexual self. Is there anything that needs tending to? Is there anything that needs healing or releasing? Your animal totem is the horse here. Horses have long been a symbol for sexuality. Their rawness and power is indicative of our natural healthy sexual desires. A tamed horse is a symbol of our repressed sexual urges and passion. But beyond this, the horse is a great traveler. In fact, wild horses can cover up to 40 miles a day. In, in this way, the horse can support us as we travel within ourselves and explore our sexual nature. They can hold you as you explore your shadow self, shadow self through your sexuality, as you show up for your healing, as you feel out your boundaries, and as you can, as you come to understand your personal needs. And your um, crystal is the Shiva Ligman. Ligman. So Shiva Ligman is your crystal of the week. It says our entire life's gender has been forced on us, and the inter internalization of this construct can be dam damaging to our natural selves we end up rejecting parts parts ourselves because we are trying to fit in inside a box how many times have you heard men shouldn't be emotional or you will never find a man if you continue to be opinionated women should be agreeable or something to that effect it continues within the spiritual community when we ascribe masculine or feminine to various energies in reality, there are words that scratch the surface of the larger concept, and beyond that, it reaffirms a rigidness that can hinder us. Perceived opposites are all part of a larger unifying force which, which lives within us. Shiva Lingman helps us meet and understand that force without the human constructs in place. Call on Shiva Lingman as a teacher as you work to unlearn these concepts and reclaim your to totality within your physical body and sexual presence. So I hope that you enjoyed your reading, my beautiful Leos. Don't forget to like because it's so important for me to stay on YouTube. So please like and subscribe. Know that I have your back and I love you all. And remember that we are one, we are light, and we are love. Please take care and I'll see you next week. Love you. Bye. Bye.